I spent some time in my early teens going uh, to church. Uh, what, what did I know? I mean, uh, my upbringing was such that I was to be seen and not heard. When did you... Become an atheist, basically? Yeah, you probably weren't raised atheist, When, when I realized that, basically, no matter how much you pray for all the bad things in your life to go away, it, it just doesn't happen. So I was never able to develop the, the question, or any question. So I kind of floated through life, you know? Do you believe in God? Uh, yes, but I wouldn't say that I'm like a practicing religious person, no. Do you have any connection to your Judaism? Like, uh, were you raised Jewish? Yes. Okay. So, like, at a bar mitzvah and stuff? At a bar mitzvah at 13, I used to do um, uh, sh uh, Shabbat. Yeah. But I don't anymore. And there I was 13, uh, 13 or 14. I was confirmed in the Anglican Church. And it, it required me to you know, bend my, get on my knees, and have uh, the archbishop or some flunky put his hands on me. It's called a laying on of hands which welcomed me into the church, and then I could have communion. Well, I sit at the back of the church waiting for the call, you know, waiting for something beyond myself, and it never came. Do you feel it's a, an important part of your identity, or just culturally? My, well, my parents are really, really, like, how would you say, religious? Observant? And conservant with How them. observant? The preacher was, was a kind of, I don't know, he was, he was a hangover from, from, uh, from some British, a kind of philosophy. Mm -hmm. And it was very hard-nosed stuff, you know, waving flags and talking about heroes and the war and the whole nine yards. Anyway, I got tired of the whole business. My, well, my dad still, my dad was a keeper. Um, most of my brothers wear it still, but not often. I don't know. I don't eat pork. You're like me, you're a confused Jew. Yeah. <laughs> you believe in God? I don't what? I did all of that. I become an atheist. I'm an atheist, pure and simple. I mean, it's the only bloody reasonable thing to do. We can't deal with this stuff anymore. It's like we're waiting for 2,000 years for the coming of Christ. I mean, if Christ came back today, we'd probably put him up against the wall and shoot him or put him in jail or some goddamn thing or beat him on the head.